Hey guys, how's it going? We're back with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about a product that's pretty popular on Amazon right now. Actually, it has been for the last year or two. It's this, the Amun Pock Rock. What is this weird looking electronic thing? Well, it's basically a takeoff of a pod. If you remember those, Line 6 pods, there was a small one called the Pocket Pod. And what it was, was it was essentially a multi-effects processor, not a pedal processor, came in a tiny little case like this and it had a bunch of effects built into it. So this takes that idea, modernizes it, and economizes it. You can get this for about 40 bucks. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you're interested in buying it. Um, but what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna plug this in um, using a use case that many of you might have for this product. Right here, I've got my trusty Marshall Master Lead Combo. Now, this is really nothing special in the sense of uh, amps and the amp world. This is a solid state, one channel amp with no effects loop. So this would be a good use case uh, for this product because it doesn't have reverb, it doesn't have two channels. So really what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this clean, try to set the preamp low enough that this little pock rock doesn't clip out or peek out in the front of the amp and see what this thing sounds like uh, running through this amp. For the guitar today, we're gonna use my Epiphone Les Paul Standard. It doesn't look like one, does it? Well, the previous owner actually routed out this middle position here and put a, another humbucker. This humbucker is the same exact humbucker as the neck humbucker, which is stock, and the bridge one is stock as well. I did change the plastics to make them black um, with black knobs, and then I got a Les Paul, More Paul uh, cover. Also, this switch I'm going to replace. It actually broke off in the case. Um, but yeah, we're going to use this guitar. I didn't want to use a super expensive one like my American Fender or a Gibson simply because that doesn't seem like it would be fair to be plugging a guitar like that into a multi-effects pedal like the Pock Rock into a one-channel amp. So that's the setup. That's the signal chain. I'm not going to do anything like compression or EQing or anything. I'm just going to play it straight and you're going to hear exactly what I hear in the room. So let's go ahead and get everything hooked up. All right, so here it is. Uh, pretty simple to operate. You've got an on-off switch here. You have a cab sim. What that does is it emulates the sound of a speaker or a speaker cabinet. You would want to use that if you were using the headphone jack. But since we're plugged directly into a guitar amp, I have that turned off because we actually have a real speaker in the amp. Down here, you've got your delay and reverb effects. Over here, you've got your chorus, flange, phase, and tremolo. That's the mod. Here, you've got your tone. Basically, that adds and subtracts treble or bass. You have your gain, that kind of affects your loudness and how hard you're hitting uh, the amp with sound. And you have your drive settings. Um, these are basically amp simulators. Clean, overdrive, distortion, crunch, uh, FZ, you can't see it, fuzz, and MT. I'm not sure what that one is. Um, and then you've got a drum machine, which is really cool. We'll get to that later. So let's start with just clean. We're on the neck position. It's on the clean setting. And that's something I notice about this unit is if too much sound is coming through, it, it yells over itself, for lack of a better expression. Um, but let's add some, uh, some reverb. So I'm going to put it on, let's do like hall right here. See how that sounds. <laughs> It doesn't really give you enough of anything. Let's change it to room. Let's see what room sounds like. Not great, guys. Not great on the reverb department. Let's go to echo. What's echo do? <laughs> I could see a use 
for that. We turn it down a little bit. How's the sound? Now that's a usable sound right there. And then the delay. This is just going to be delay. So if it's up all the way, it's probably going to be a long delay. Yeah. And then down all the way is off, but up a little bit is a little delay. Okay, so I'm going to turn that to hall. Actually, we'll turn it off all the way. Okay, now let's look at the effects. We've got chorus. That doesn't sound terrible. Flange. Okay, so that's all the effects. Let's go through the different drives now. So we're going to go to OD.
messing with the gain here and the tone here. Everything on the amp is set in the middle. So everything there is not, shouldn't be affecting the sound. I find the effects to not sound great. I mean, the, the trim sounds okay, but even at the lowest setting, it's really fast. Flange and phase are almost unusable to me. And then uh, the chorus is, it's not great either, man. It just isn't. The reverb, there's not enough of it, you know? <laughs> It just doesn't sound good. It just sounds like, I don't know, I don't like the way this sounds at all. is you can move the wheel like this to pick a different drum pattern and if you press it in you can change the voice of the drums and then there's the tempo so if we set the tempo to like 60 I guess Hit play think about this pock rock I don't know man I'm not sure that I can recommend it it doesn't sound great it doesn't really have any features or any sounds that just blow me away if you have an amp that doesn't have reverb or an overdrive channel or effects or something like that I have to say what what are you paying for this this is like $40 for $40, you could go buy something like a used Mustang 1, a Fender Mustang 1. And that thing is an entire amp that sounds absolutely amazing compared to this thing. Um, I, I just can't recommend this, guys. I really can't. I know it sells on Amazon. It's got good reviews. I guess if you needed something small that you could plug headphones into and you don't care very much about recording it or anything like that, um, that could probably work for practice. It's better than playing unplugged, and it's better than playing um, with no headphones. So if you have to have headphones, I guess that could work for you. 
Um, but seriously, I would recommend a Mustang One from Fender. Those are about forty to fifty dollars used. An old Line Six Spider. I hate to say it, but an old Line Six Spider sounds better than this. And you can get one of those old like Spider Twos or Spider Threes for forty or fifty bucks all day long on uh, Marketplace and elsewhere. So you could even go for like an older Pod Line Six Pod. Um, which is what this thing is modeled after. And that's the funny thing, is a real one of those, like a pocket pod, you can probably buy used for the same price as this thing new. So do I recommend it? No, I don't, unless you have a very specific use case. Like let's say you're going somewhere where you can't have a guitar amp with you, but you can have a guitar. This would work for that because it's got a headphone jack and it's got different effects. It's better than nothing. Um, let's say you live in a place where you can't turn on your amp and you're required to use headphones. In that case, you won't notice the difference as much. You won't notice that sound quality as much. If you have it on your head in headphones, it'll work great for that. But that's really all I can recommend it as, is a headphone amp. I can't recommend it for anything other than that. So feel free to buy it if you want to. I'm gonna put a link in the description and if you buy it from there, it will help the channel. Um, but I would advise that you not buy that unless you are in that use case that I mentioned. I'll also put some links to a few amps that I recommend. They're gonna be more expensive than this, but I think it's money well spent to spend, you know, a hundred bucks or so to get a decent amplifier that has effects built into it. It's gonna be miles ahead of this thing. So yeah, there you go. I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please join the Discord. The link is in the description below. We talk about guitar gear, etc. Stuff like this thing. We talk about that in the Discord a lot. We talk about amps, pedals, guitars, you know, whatever. So once again, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. See you next time and keep on rocking.